To me, it will take them to tell y'all, like, I don't want nobody disrespecting a bird, don't touch a bird, mm -hmm. don't hit a bird, don't, yeah. <laughs> nothing with yeah. a bird. That's like, player. That's I, next level I, right I, there. That's I, next I connect level. with birds. I have two birds of my own. Two oh, wow. Oh, my Shit. goodness. Yes. Yes. Yeah, one name is Sky. Shout out oh, Sky. Shout, shout out Sky. Shout out to Sky. Shout out to Sky. Yes. And, um, yeah, so what I love birds. All birds. That is so Even amazing. the pigeons. And Even the pigeons. Even the seagulls? Yeah, I feed all of them. What? That's 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 gangster right there. You know they yeah. say pigeons. I don't know. They say pigeons ain't real. Well, we all Who have said that. Who said that? Uh, see. When, when they say that, that was the thing. All right, look. Have you ever seen a baby pigeon? So what are they saying? They cloned them. So just because you yeah. ain't never seen a baby pigeon, you don't know where they sleep at. You they don't know where they in their nest in the tree. They don't bring their kids outside. Do you bring your kid? I'm gonna find out and I'm gonna come back to you with that. I'm just, I'm just going off what I, I ain't saying it was true. I was just saying. You saying I, I ain't saying you think it was true, but you sound convinced. He no, sounds very convinced. He sound convinced. Like, yeah, I ain't never. I feel like fake. he got something against the bird. Everybody mm -hmm. watching, have you ever seen a baby pigeon? I feel like X is Googling it right He now. should be. <laughs> okay. So. Pull it up. Pull it up. You know what? I'm finna go. You know what? Okay. So do you think that um, you have bird uh bird nature or you know because everybody has a spiritual a spirit animal, animal. Spirit yes, animal. I, I believe that's my spiritual animal okay. because since a child you know before i even dived into the bird every time i dream and i'm in some kind of situation i need to get out of i always fly Okay. Always. Ooh. Most definitely. That's a key. Yeah. I always Shit. I love it. So. Yeah, it was like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, so, and it happens in real life, too. Like, anything that comes to break me or any situation, I notice, like, I rise above it. I fly above it. And What's I that? gain knowledge from it and yeah. wisdom. And I apply it. So, it makes me rise even higher. I'm and taking that with me. Yeah, energy. I'm taking that with me. Yeah. And, yeah. You know, yeah. I gain higher self through Most it. So. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. Okay, okay. Black T, what do you think your spirit animal is? My spirit animal? Yes. A monkey. I, I already a monkey. Know it, it, <laughs> so it's two things. In my man, it's a bear. Okay. But it's a uh, praying mantis. Okay. Okay. I never heard of that. Praying. Yeah. Man. I found that out. So I was at the crib one night, and um, I, I was on the second floor. Mm -hmm. And on my window was a praying mantis. Wow. And it was like, yo, how the fuck did it get up here? Okay. You know what I'm saying? A and then I mantis. looked it up, and at that time in my life, you know, it was teaching me like a lot of patience. Okay. You know what I'm saying? With that patience, it's like, all right, you can strike at any moment, and when you do strike, ain't mm -hmm. nobody gonna see it coming. Wow, praying mantis. So do they fly? I don't know. I've never seen one. I, I hey, real quick, no time out. How you spell pigeon again? P I G E O N. P I G E O N. E O N. Yeah. Thanks a lot, Perry. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, he finna find out for us right now. Yeah. I didn't go into none of the articles, but like the Oh. Okay. I don't want to look it up now. Government. Man, man, man. No, look it up because we need on, to. Man. We yeah. need to clarify yeah. this. You know. So, uh, how did you get into singing? You know how you got the. Name, but how did you get the name? I mean, get into well, it. Well, my name is Tia Songbird. Tia Songbird, and the way you spell Tia it is so fucking dope. Yeah, it is. So, yeah, and that that happened weird because my middle name is Chantilla, uh -huh. and everybody in my family called me Tia. <laughs> and one day they was like, "You gotta pick a name." And this was in 2013 when I had one of my first awakenings, and. Um, I was like, how am I spell my name? Because it was a girl, a, another singer. Her name was spelled Tia, and she was known. I was like, I'm not coming behind nobody, you know? TIA, and I'm right? sitting there washing the dishes and, you know, cleaning up or whatever. And a tea bag fell out the cabinet. Oh, that's gangster. And I was like, <laughs> Oh, that's gangster. I was like, T E apostrophe A. Hey, you didn't have a magic. Like you didn't have a magical oh, ass life. Yes, that shit it, dope. It, in, in a lot of situations <laughs> happen in my life like that. It be out of this world and like sometimes I don't speak on it because a lot of people be like, nah. And I'm like, shit, <laughs> yeah. No, I'm I like, feel like though. You connect you know? I mean you connected with your spirit. I feel like Yeah, I've yeah, always yeah. followed the divine. I always yeah, listen. Even know. before yeah. I even got as deep as I am now. 
Like I've always listened. Mm -hmm. I've always listened to my elders. Yeah. You know, I take the advice and I apply when needed. Mm -hmm. You know what right. I'm saying? So, like I've always been one of those kids that paid attention to a lot of things. Like at the age, even at the age of nine, like I noticed, I used to think my life was a movie. Like I've seen this happen before. Mm -hmm. Damn. You know what I'm saying? At the age of nine, you know they say the date of your birth is your golden number. Oh, my birthday wow. is July 9th. July. My ninth birthday is when I heard, had like one of my first realizations, like, okay, something is happening here. Wow. You know what I'm right. saying? Like I'm noticing things and who can I tell? And I always spoke to my father about it and he guided me through a lot of things as well. Wow. And it just happened in increments of nine. So, damn. So would you say your father was like a big influence on the music that you create? Oh yes, my whole family is. Uh, singing comes from my family. My grandfather, he, he's they named him the Mississippi Midget. He's a pastor from Mississippi. <laughs> okay. And um, he's a singer as well. Yes. He, okay. He have a album, a few albums out on YouTube, and um, he was a pastor. And uh, his name was Pastor Eugene Rivers, and he sung everywhere. Shout out to Pastor Eugene Rivers. Yes, may you rest in peace, love. Yes, and um, everybody around me was singing. Um, I said I started singing at like four, but my mother said I sung uh, as we lay all the way through at the age of 18 months. So, what? yeah. <laughs> what? At 18 months. So. so when did you realize that you had a voice? Um, I say 2018, 2018. is the, like, the time that I was like, that. I'm just gonna do it. Like, a lot of people, they, my voice touched me, and I never heard my voice. Really? I never heard, I never yeah. knew what I had, and yeah. I played with it. You okay. know what I'm saying? Okay, okay. And, um, 2018... I kind of, like, I'm just going to go for it since mm -hmm. everybody's talking about it. But me really, really hearing my voice was last year. Are you serious? Yeah. Really, really hearing it. Really, really hearing it and feeling what, uh, just a tad bit of what others was explaining to me. Yeah. I wrote a song called Self-Portrait, and it's about one of my awakenings for seeing my true nature, my true beauty, mm -hmm. my star player. And, uh that was That's hard. That I, last I almost wanted to shake up with you. That, <laughs> you said my star player. Yeah, that my was, star that player. Yeah, and, God and, damn. and when I heard the song, I didn't sing, and I usually sing with my music while it's playing. Okay. And when I heard myself, like, it it shook something in me, and I was like, whoa, you know. Then, that? Yeah, and I had another song, and it was playing on the <laughs> You know how you add your music to your playlist? Mm -hmm. It was playing in the playlist, and I'm damn. I'm like, this is my jam, and I can't remember who wrote it, and I stopped like, dummy, that's your damn. song. Damn, that's what's up. Yeah. Hey, can we put it up there? Yeah. Put that story on his own. That's yeah, what's yeah, up. Yeah. I love it. I love hey, it. And you know what, bro? I feel like we finna hit a new record, you know what I'm saying? And it, coincidentally, the other person was Dirty Bird. Right. I mean, Dirty Eagle, so Dirty, Dirty Bird. Come on, uh, man, get your shit together. But I'm just I'll, saying, I'll, I'll it was an eagle, right. though. Right. You know what I'm saying? You're going to be here? Right. It's the bird. No, Dirty Eagle was here. Well, actually, he ended season two. Last, mm. like, last month. Wow. Last okay. Month. He ended last and month. I started? Second start, but, you know. You know what? <laughs> off the show, off cameras. So, what, oh so, so what's this I hear about? You, you preaching almost in your songs, giving that vibe out. Because I, I hear the preacher lineage, you know, coming from grandpa. So, you know, what, what's this about? I don't know what people be talking about, but hey, if that's what they call it, if I touch them in that way, I accept it. Okay. Oh, you know, right. um, a lot of people say I preach through my music and mm. I'm very spiritual, so I don't it's call definitely. it pe preaching. Right. It's just okay. a way of life to me. And that's how I look at music. Music is a way of life and you speak from your experiences where others can relate. So that's beautiful, you know. Mm -hmm. That's crazy that's that preaching, you said that. That's my testimony, so yeah. you yeah. know. Yeah, that definitely is your testimony. Yeah. So, do you think art imitates life, or does life yes. imitate art? Um, Fire. Art imitates life. Art imitates life. Yes. Uh, Can you explain that a little bit? Because uh, you have to have the experience to create art. Okay. You have to see the visual to create it. Okay. You might as well just done. We I'm just gonna start <laughs> drinking. Good job, guys. Cause I don't wanna just keep clapping. We just gonna drink. Come on. Let's just yeah, yeah. Okay. Put it up in a cup. You okay. know what I'm saying? Put, put it up, up in a cup. cup. 
God damn, everybody gonna be drunk fucking with you. I see what they talking Today? about. Today, you just conversing like that. I, I feel it right here, but I can it's hear. It's amazing. Has music come on that? That'd be. I understand what they saying. Yeah, I'm a very passionate yeah. person, and yeah. um, a lot of people mistake my fire for. Anger, but I'm passionate about I like everything. Spicy, you know, yeah. I'm passionate yeah. about a lot of things, and mm-hmm. energy is everything energy to me. Is everything. So yeah. Um, yeah. I never really look at certain things on the surface. I get a deeper you perspective. Get a depth to what's going yeah, on. Okay. content behind it. So, get some context behind it. Yeah, it's never a surface right. thing for me. It's always deeper than that to me. I'm a deep okay. individual. So, <laughs> do you write your own music? Yes. Okay. Yes. Have you ever wanted to like cry while writing your music? Because I hear. You know, you write music, uh, you know, speaking about your pain and things of that nature and stuff that you've been through. So have you ever felt the need to, like, cry? Like, oh, my gosh, I'm telling people how I really feel. Yes, that was my song, Self Portrait, when I wrote that song um, about myself. And because I was speaking from a place of pain, but I was speaking from a, another place of passion. Like, wow. Like, That's understanding. You know, I, I see this, mm-hmm. I feel it in my words, and it. I wrote that song in 15 minutes. Are you serious? Damn, that's 15, real. It, 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 it's like spirit just it took over there. me. It was yeah. just in me, and there. I heard the beat. The beat actually made me cry. Mm, 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 the mm. beat actually made me cry first, and yeah. then... When I started writing, I was, you know, the tears flow. I ain't no punk, though, you know yeah. what I mean? Shout out to them tears. Them tears made that song. Yeah. I ain't no punk, the Tears you know, made that song a beautiful song. I ain't no punk. <laughs> See, I don't know now. You were just gangster like t- 20 minutes ago. Nah. Nah, you know, I got two sads to me. Oh, so, like, this shit. is my good side. Mm, the shit. one the scars on, mm, that's mm, where shit. all the level up come. But yeah, this sad yeah. over here, this sad you got to watch. You know mm-hmm. what I'm talking about? Mm-hmm. So, it's two sads. It's, you know, yeah. Yeah. All right, so let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. three songs that you created that gave you three different emotions, but real emotions. So we already got the Self-portrait. emotional, mm-hmm. like, you know what I'm saying? You need three more? Yeah, let's get something that just made you feel so damn happy. And then something that just pissed you off. It's all good, really pissed me off. It's all good? It's all, it's all good. good. Okay. It's all good. Um... And, it, and it's crazy because a lot of people felt what I felt. So what, what was the song people. about? The song is about someone that makes you a promise, like they'll never cheat, they'll never lie, they'll never leave, they have your back, you know what I'm saying? And they can let somebody else come in and strip that away loyalty, and not loyalty, hold on. Loyalty. Exactly. <laughs> it's loyalty over everything for me and like... I'm one of them people you can come and talk to about anything because I'm very understanding before I'm understanding. And, and, and um, Can you go by like fast seconds from that? What you just say? I'm very I'm very understanding. I'm right here, but the people need to hear that. They, they need to un- understand that. <laughs> I'm very understanding before I'm understanding. Explain. All right, okay. I know. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We going to drink. Okay. And um, <laughs> so that song came from Can you explain understanding, though? Understanding, I could place myself in your shoes. I can see through your eyes. I can feel what you feel. Wow. I heart you. Mm-hmm. I heart you. And um, I'm very understanding before I'm understanding. And, like, you could talk to me about I'm anything. I'm taking that with me. I'm letting you know right now. I'm going to stop talking. Thank you. <laughs> you already gave me enough. I got, like seven years, I got, like, seven years of game right now. I what are you talking talk, about? You but, um, you tripping. You know, and it's all about loyalty and Honesty is everything to me because I don't understand. Well, I understand why people are not honest, but I don't understand it, you know, because I feel like it comes from a place of fear. Mm. And so, you know, that's what that song was about. Mm. See, my my spiritual confirmation comes from X. So when I look at him and he be like, yeah, then I know that shit legit. (laughs) So we're going to put that shit in the cup up there all the (laughs) time. I'm telling you, everybody gonna be drunk on this episode. I'm seeing right now, goddammit. So that's, that's that. That's, that's the point. That's bottle service. Yeah. That's, that's what, what I'm talking this about. This is bottle that's service. Yeah, about. but you know, we never really had a true episode where everybody was drunk. It might be one where I was well, drunk. Well, let's get and, to it. Bring them questions. Come on. So, <laughs> well, no, we got, that's two out of three. We got one more. Okay. Um, um, so, the song that made me the happiest is um, this song. Even though it's coming from a 
hurtful place, but it's coming from a hurtful and a healing place at the same time. So uh, this song I just wrote, and it's called um, Teach Me. It's called Me Lost, Teach Me. You know what I'm saying? It's a love song, and it's basically like, okay, I'm opening myself up to you now. Like, can you teach, teach me how to love you? And I'm going to teach you how to love me. You know, and let's get this thing rolling. That's a let's beautiful, grow. vulnerable teach. place to be in. Yeah. 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 Opening it's, yourself it's, up. Because to after going through so much, and I've been through a lot, I don't wear it, but I've been through a lot. Mm -hmm. And. You know, it's hard to open yourself back up, but if you learn self and you know self and you in tune with that, you should write a book. It's easy to love. I've heard that like you fifty write a book. times. No, it's real <laughs> shit. You know what I'm saying? It's I actually want to write a book and I want to come out with a um, documentary. Yeah, that'd yeah. be dope. Okay. That'd be dope. Real. I know. I know. I know, yeah. I know. I know a person that can film it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. I know somebody. Yeah. yeah, I'm looking for a few writers too because <laughs> yeah. I I just don't, you know, other people can see things you, you want can't articulate it, yeah. you know, yeah. in ways so, to, to the masses. I yeah. want it all facts though. I know in movies they be like, you gotta, you don't have. I just feel like it's a lot of things that people conform to that I don't. I feel like if I could see this, it can happen. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Sure. If I could think this, it can happen. It's gonna happen. You know, them thoughts not there for no reason. It that feeling is it, 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 right. It's already, it's already, already evident. It's already evident. Right. <laughs> it's in my head. <laughs> booyaka, booyaka. I don't know about y'all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shit. yeah. I'm gonna be. Oh. I'm gonna be drunk as fuck. Mm -hmm. That sounds um, like power manifestation. I'm gonna have water in my cup. Song you said one made me feel good. Why no, that pissed you me off? That was all. That was all. No, that was all three. Okay, so. so I think this would be a perfect question for you because I was going to, you know, I, I, I didn't think it was going to be this raw, but it's raw. So I'm going I'm to I'm ask this question. What are what are two two worldly things that you know you can, um, can't go without? Two world, it could be one physical and one mental. So it could be something like a car or something like that, or, or it could be something tangible, or it could be like music, something that you can't actually hold in your hand. I can't go without music. Okay. I tried you know. that. Okay. Yeah. I yeah. tried that. So, I gave you know. my music up for someone for six years. I was young, you know, married. Wow. And, you know, the way that I was taught submiss being submissive, you know, I submitted to whatever mm -hmm. he wanted. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. And I gave it up, but it killed me. I felt like mm. I was dead to the world. Like I had nothing to offer. Yes. You know it what I'm saying? You. It, it wasn't, wasn't me. I you. was you being what someone else yourself. wanted me to be. You got to love yourself first. Dick. And, oh, and um, you know, so I let that go. So music is. Okay, so, mm -hmm. something tangible, something physical, something like a, a you know, um, a, a phone, phone or, a, you know, know, a hat or an heirloom. I or, can't uh, go know. without fashion. Fashion. I love fashion. Yeah. Okay. I fashion love fashion. Okay. I love, <laughs> yeah. you know, yes. I love to make people look Even good. Even if you don't have a phone, then fuck it. Fuck that phone. Fuck. Well, this you is, know, I grew up this with a house phone, fashion. and I went out without right, yeah, a phone. True, true, so, true, true, you know, true, true, true. <laughs> yeah, it's something yeah, that, that I mean, don't yeah, have yeah, to yeah, have. Yeah, that, 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 I feel like, because I grew up with a house phone. I feel like. I like personal interactions anyways. You know. Most definitely. But you. Right. Facts though. It's a lot of people that what? Yeah, bro. It's yeah, a you gotta lot of think about it. We, we probably the last that we probably X generation probably the last generation that even witnessed a house phone. I mean, even mm -hmm. us. You know what us, I mean? The us being millennials, you know what I'm saying? We've been conditioned to we've been groomed into it phone. already. Yeah, yeah, you feel what I'm saying? I got two. You got two of them right now. You know what I'm saying? Like I need these bitches. Yeah. Yeah. But see, yeah. I like that. I love that. I like that. the meet up. Let's come Yeah, I, I love that. We sitting on the phone talking over this thing. And then, you know, it's a lot come with that, too. Right. But is it you is know? is it is it is it like that when you know you got instantaneous, like, you know, technology on the other hand? Like, you know, yeah, in, like, real life, and but in practice, like, you know you can get something expedited to you. But you don't do it because, oh, this is the wave I like. You know, mm -hmm. it, you see what I'm saying? Knowing that it's on the other side. 
you know, because one is kind of like natural eye when it comes, when, when you get it, you come, mm-hmm. you learn, you know. The other is like Amazon, bitch, I need that now, yeah. like tomorrow, mm-hmm. hurry yeah. up I mean, you with know, my shit, you it's, know what I'm saying? It's like, a gift and a curse in itself. Yeah, stuff. you know? <laughs> okay. So what do you feel like you've given the world? What do you feel like you've given the world that you would want to give back? I'm sorry, like, I'm sorry, what was the question? I'm sorry. Um, so, I'm sorry, I'm trying to figure out the question that I'm trying to ask you. I mean, like, what is something that you haven't given the world that you want to give? Mm. My full potential. Your full potential. Ooh. Do you feel like you're already, you don't feel like you're already there, or you feel like it's more work to do, or how do you feel about that? I'm here now. You're here now? Okay. And there's still work to be done. It's always work to be done, yes. every day of life. So, mm-hmm. But I'm here now. I'm, I'm here. <laughs> yeah. Crown to root. Yes. I'm here. Yes. And that's the way it always should be. Yeah. Bro, every time I fucking see you, you are so fucking happy, man. God damn. It, it, it took a long time getting here. <laughs> like, you don't remember me in here, I go, mm. Oh, shit, man. Is it still something that you're trying to find, that happiness in a steady flow? Is it on and off sometimes, or how is it? Um, it hasn't okay. been as bad. Okay. Um, I'm back to the old me like I I really had a rebirth Mm -hmm. um where I smiled at everything and I adore my naiveness okay I adore it because it keeps me seeing the beauty in things before I see the ugly yeah you know and uh, bars in this bitch dog stop playing with her you know so stop playing with her I try to stay optimistic Mm -hmm. about everything and a lot of people, they don't agree with it. They, well, you got to, you know, it goes like this. And, you gotta and conform. me, I'm, I, people don't understand it, but I call myself a rebellion. I'm a rebellion to the ways of this world because I don't conform to what they say of because course. something inside of me is, it's not letting me conform. So yeah. I rebel against it. Yeah. And I know it's something better that comes out of side. everything you it's, know what i'm exactly. saying like yes. just like you can see the ugly you can see it's dual Most duality and everything yes it, it just depends on which way you want to view it Most you know definitely. yes so, that's yeah, what keeps me smiling let's mm-hmm. put that shit yeah. up there man god, oh god damn why did i look back there <laughs> oh my god now i like this though just get my spirit going like That's this. what I do. I like this right here. <laughs> That's I like what I this do. right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I always, you know, yeah. I rumble some and say to you. I'm so I always used to tell people, church can come to you in any form. Church can come to you in any form. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I'm, I'm definitely, yeah. I'm definitely a, a, a hood yeah, yeah. preacher. A street ordained yeah. minister. Yeah, I, I feel that. Like. Mm-hmm. So compare, all right, today's music, well, let's just do singing, because I don't even want to talk about rap. It's, <sighs> let's just do no, no, no. We're just going to keep it R&B. Let's keep it singing. Let's keep it where I can't get mad. We can talk about it all. We ain't going to do much yet. But I'm just saying, the music that you grew up with compared to the music today, R&B. So on the R&B scene, the music that I grew up on, it definitely taught another way of life. You yeah. know, it, it really taught you how to deal with things. Um, it told, taught you how to overcome things. We had more um, soulful singing then, mm-hmm. yeah. you know. And just like my favorite song, No Pain, No Gain, and After the Rain, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. it, it taught you how to deal with relationships, how, how to cohabitate, mm-hmm. you mm-hmm. know. Yes. And we didn't hear about a lot of the stuff that was happening in the background, but it was feel-good music. You mm. felt that music. Yeah, you did. You so know, it's like Mary. See, the music today, they live that music. They don't feel that music. Yeah. You know, so yeah. that's just a lifestyle. It went from actually feeling to living it. You know? Most definitely. For a post. <laughs> Is you don't it's it's, you don't really feel it, you know. It's, yeah. it's just for a turn up. Yeah, it's, scene, it's just you know? you know, even when yeah. they singing, like my thing is, tips. when have oh. you really heard, wh- when was the last time you really heard a real love song? Mm. Not since R. Kelly, honestly. Okay, Damn. from a woman. Okay, from a woman. Um, I say Brandy. I guess Fantasia. There's something in his liquor. 
Mm-hmm. Oh, sing yeah, that, it sing is. that, sing it. The air is getting thicker. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh. oh. <laughs> hey. no. I like so left I don't side. My left side just jumped a little bit when she did that. Hey. Mm-hmm. Okay. I feel like that should be our purpose. Yeah, yeah. I feel like that's it's the purpose. It's bottle so service. Turn up. Kill that whole cup. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> Kill that. Oh, I like challenges, though. Don't do that. Oh, God. I ain't going to do it because oh, I don't want because you start with me today. It's going to huh. be a real bottle service in here. I'm handing out life lessons. Uh-uh. Bobby's ass one of them bottles. Go ahead. Uh-uh. I might as well do this shit with y'all. So what what you got coming out now? What 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 new projects, what new whatever, everything, performances, all that shit. So this is the amazing part, right? I'll be done with my EP and my album at the same time, and I had no clue. Wow. Until I wrote everything down. Mm-hmm. All the songs. And uh my EP is called T Light. Tea light. Tea light. Mm. Okay. And it's my spiritual EP. It's not gospel, so I am gonna curse. I'm gonna do all that just to let okay. y'all know it's spiritual. I am who I am. That's, that's right. what it is, and that's what yeah. I'm presenting. Yeah. Um. And then my album is called Spill the Tea. It's mm, a like three-part that. compilation, and um, one is called Sweet Tea. That's my happiness, my love song. Sweet. And then one is called T No Honey, and that's my bitterness, my hurt, pain. And one is called Hot Tea, and that's the. You got all flavors type in this bitch, don't you? You all type of shit going on. That's what I'm talking about. And a hot tea. gonna be lit. So, do you drink tea? Yes. Okay, what's your favorite tea? Chamomile. Chamomile. Okay, okay. I'm an elderberry tea drinker. Elderberry. I like I like green tea too because it's not that. Potent. Uh, That's when I don't want mm-hmm. all that in me. Yeah, right. But I love chamomile because it's so relaxing. Yeah. And it's the tea of Oshun. Oh, so okay. The tea of who? Okay. Oh, I'm there. Yes. I know you know. <laughs> the tea of who? Oshun. Oshun. Yes. Who is that? What is it? Oh, who, who She's is a that? Nigerian goddess. Oh. Oshun. You oh, saw, shit. I, this is lady that do readings. Her name, she do House of Ocean. House of Ocean, you watch you know her too. That's my girl. That's my lady. girl. Yeah. Put some respect on her name, boy. Yes, House of Ocean. She, I, shit, I, I did. Let me Google her. Let yeah, she's, 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 she's dope. dope. She's dope. I don't know your life. <laughs> <laughs> I like it because she be like real. She real, she and she not, she not trying to make herself... But this this interview about me, we gonna talk about it. Yeah, back to you. Back to you. Back to you. Know, yeah, yeah. Oh, what, I, what did I say? We oh. ain't gonna say fuck it. Oh. Rewind the footage, y'all. Yeah, Please rewind it. Because what I say, we yeah. ain't. Oh, oh, oh. That's a whole other conversation. Oh, oh, we ain't even okay. walk down that I path. I want to be let in oh. on that one. Y'all know I'm nose. Y'all trying to. Huh, this oh, nigga. fuck that. You just got to go back and watch we previous see, episodes. Just go oh, wow. hypocrite guy. This guy's a hypocrite. But yeah, Oshun is a. Um, Oshun, yeah. She is a, uh, a Nigerian goddess. That walked this earth. See, this is too much stuff to go deep into. But um, she is one of those fallen angels you heard about in the Bible. Why are the fallen angels so fucking good? I, I'm, I'm, just, I'm sorry. No, they in the Bible, they're bad. That's in wow. the Bible, though. Yeah, uh, but. A man written book. But every time I research these motherfuckers, it's like, oh, they they ain't that bad, you know. They're they're really I mean, I called they they're really <laughs> called Orishas, and you have seven major ones. That's the seven uh, African powers. Can we put so, this one up there? Yeah. Put it up in a cup. Put it up in a cup. What do you feel is your African power? One of the seven. Oh, Shun. She's Oshun. my she's okay. my crown. Okay. And the reason why I say that is because a lot of things that Oshun experienced. I've been experiencing before I knew her. Like yeah. when I saw the, the bird, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Um, when she had Eshu, AKA Horus in Greek. When she had Eshu on the moon, you know what I'm saying? Then she went, her beauty was everything. And yeah. All the men were attracted to her beauty. Mm. And the way she carried herself, she was very seductive. That, it, it explains everything about me. Her favorite color is yellow. Her number is five. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Her favorite flower is 
sunflowers. Okay. Okay. Birds are a part of her pack. Mm. Pigeons being one, and um, I forgot the other one. Uh, peacocks. Okay. That's why mm. peacocks can't fly because when she went to the sun, it burned her so bad. Oh, wow. So she didn't want the peacock mm. to get burned, so she didn't yeah. allow the peacock right. to fly. Right. Like, it's deep. You know what I'm saying? Even beats like Beyonce deep. is speaking about her now. You can hear she throw her in there and like everything you've been seeing about Beyonce, even when she had her belly showing with the crown thing on her head, yeah. that's Oshun. And then that's they'll the say Oshun energy. It's yeah. demonic. <clears throat> of course they'll tell us everything about our people is demonic because they want us to follow their guy. Exactly. We got we got so, our own you know, uh, narrative about them. Yeah, it's just like the Bafu. But that's, like you said, that's, we getting deep. We yeah, getting deep. It, it gets deep. So th that's a lot of the stuff that I do talk on my show on Light and Shine and Armor at Keep It 100 Radio. Okay. So so bro brought it up. With top five, you want to do it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Top, top five uh, singers. I ain't even going to say R&B singers. Top five singers. Um, My number one is Whitney Houston. Okay. okay. Shout out to Bay. That's the second, that's that's the second time we had number one. My yeah. number two is Fantasia. Oh. My number three is Mary J. Blige. Ah. My number four is um, Keisha Cole. Mm. Huh. Can I do six? Can I do six? Keisha Cole. My number five is Monica. Oh, yeah. And my number right. six is Brandy. Oh, ain't no number yeah, six. Yeah. It is. Yeah, it's I don't go mention. Didn't I tell you that I'm, I'm rebellion? Hey. You ain't hear this. Ain't this interview about me? You right. You lucky. Yeah, you right. Hey, you right. You right. You right. Hey, can we put that up there in the yeah. cup? You right. Definitely put it can. up in the cup. You lucky. You yeah. lucky. <laughs> you lucky. I'm, I'm not gonna be Girl, yeah. <laughs> I am not playing. <laughs> I think this devour make you play a little bit, maybe. I'm serious. <laughs> hey, so I rock with all six. Uh huh. But Mary J. Uh -huh. Blige. All right. How you gonna put Mary J. Blige and then and then put uh, uh, Monica at, at, at the number six at five? No, so so listen here. Oh, Fantasia. Listen, here, here. Hold on, listen. She listen. So you know, I feel what Brandy was coming from, but Brandy. She really didn't show true self. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm, okay. As to where Mary, Mary, I feel Mary because Being a soul. right. She yeah. she spoke from her experiences, right. and I experienced those things. Right. So you know, she right. really supposed to have been up there, but you know Whitney. Yeah. Whitney, Whitney, <laughs> Whitney, Whitney birthed those motherfuckers. Yeah, like so, uh, yeah. you know. That's my girl. So my, the issue that I got with, with Mary, it ain't it ain't her singing. Why you always hating on Mary J. Blige? It's like the second time I think you heard I'm gonna I heard tell you, you hating on her like that. I'm I'm you I you really want to hear it. What's going on, bro? It's some fucking acting. What? Like, yo. <laughs> yo you got to crawl before you walk, bitch. She had to, when she made that, that fucking movie with Q-Tip back in the day, that was crawling. Oh, but she didn't do bro. much acting, though, bitch. Right. Yeah, her music like way so out. did you exactly. come into podcast or radio knowing exactly, exactly what to do? Hell yeah. Yeah. No, you didn't. Did. You can't be good at everything. <laughs> Yo, as soon as the motherfuckers put the cameras on me, I was a dog. Uh -huh. It came naturally. And if I wasn't, I, I probably would have stopped. So what you saying? She's a stop acting? At, she chill. Hey, Chuck. Because it don't work. Well, that's what she feel. After the first two episodes, she should have said, you know what? This ain't for me. That's the first <laughs> thing we need to stop doing, too. Like we, oh yeah, like you reach out to her and tell her yeah. I think you need to take some acting classes, yeah. Mary. Like do that. You know what I'm saying? Like I'll don't don't just say I don't like her. No, if I, you if know? I could reach out to her, I would. If you I, can if email I, if her. Out to her. You can she try fan page. She's not gonna respond. She ain't gonna respond. But we gonna you sit back that? and watch. If you was acting, I would buy your Tia. You know, I love your music. Hey, tell about y'all. So so why I can't head on Drink Champs and he can head on Mary J. Blige? What's wrong with this man? Is that, you like Mary J. Blige? Yeah, hey, I do. I really do. You look and up I, to her? I don't... She, has she influenced your life? What does that have to do with what I'm talking you. about? That's, right, so that's not prior content. Here it that's goes. Me. Fuck no. it. We finna do it. So, Tia, <laughs> because you're a singer, uh -huh. you're, you're in a competitive sport now, which is R&B, right? Yeah. 
Ah, uh, here we go. Mary J. Blige influenced you, right? She yeah. influenced you, right? Let's just say when she was number one uh -huh. and you was coming up because she inspired you. Right. Y'all ready? Well, yeah, we've been principal ready. Looking ass right. out of here. Don't interrupt me <laughs> because it's finna get there. Stop. Let's go. Let's go. Would you tell Mary J. Blige, fuck you? If she did something I ain't like, yeah. No, 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 no. At a competitive sport, would you tell Mary J. Blige, fuck you? Nah, why would I do that? I'm secure where I'm at. I'm secure. She Tia. Where I'm, I'm, I'm secure. I mean, she Tia. And that, what I'm it's two different things. It ain't about who you are. It's just the fucking Because you, huh? you, you refuse to understand the fact it ain't what you say, it's how you say it. Oh, my God. It's I'm what just saying. you say. It don't matter how you say how it. How you say it? Well, it's the t intentions behind Come on, everything. Man. It, it, ain't how you, it, it ain't what you say, it's how you say it. That don't mean it's intentions know. behind everything, bro. Yeah. So the so how do you, you how do you acknowledge the intention? How do you know that? As like, fuck you. Like I'm just saying, what is that indicator though? Wait, wait. What's the indicator of the intention? Fuck you. That's the indicator. You have to know how you saying it because the how you saying it is gonna allude to your intention. It definitely will. The fuck out of there, boy. <laughs> oh, come on, man. But you just heard her answer. She agreed. I'm not saying fuck Mary J. Blige. Her, her words. Yes, you are my competitor now, but I'm not going to say fuck you. Now you're confusing, John. Now you're confusing. Now, 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 now. You're Lori. Straight to the point, man. No. <laughs> don't, no. Do it. Don't, don't, no. don't get me started. Because no. I heard it. I no. heard it. Don't get me started. No. Leave that way and say it. We're going to go back to Tia Zomer. <laughs> don't you yeah, say it. So you're amazing. <laughs> and it's been a pleasure. Yes, you are Thank amazing. You so Definitely. Much. Thank you so much. Sitting this close to you. So Definitely. Thank you. Oh, y'all yeah. making me feel like a real one more time. You've been dropping gems all day. I need my crown. Bring the crown written. I'm just playing. This is her. Yeah, you've been dropping gems all day. Of course. That's yeah. my yeah. purpose. Yeah. And to gift you, you know, we want to give you a shirt. You know, you customized. Got a Nobody shirt. else get this shirt. I wish I had this shirt. This color at it all. Sexy. Now the t-shirt could be this color, but the words should yes. not be this I color. Mean, you feel definitely. me? This yeah. is mine. Mm -hmm. That's some exclusive shit. I, I'm gonna make sure. All right. Maybe Exclusiveness. like Exclusiveness It depends on if they pay it Ain't no depend on if they pay They can't get this What you mean? That's a hot ass shirt I mean yeah. It's a hot ass it's shirt nice. Bird is hot Let bird wear it. Who my person might Let bird wear it. All right man <laughs> all right. right there Let bird wear it. Let bird wear yeah. We're gonna make that a, All right fuck it Tonight we're gonna make that An official songbird color Most Yes definitely. For yes. the bottle yes. t-shirts Okay yes. nobody else wear that You mm. gotta put bird edition yeah. No, but you know what I was going to do? I ain't going to lie. When I was making it, I was going to put a bunch of birds like in there. That like, would have been so but it looked, dope. If you would have saw it, it looked corny as shit. I swear really? to God. Really? It's the thought that matters. It's the thought that matters. Yeah, but, I mean, but it looked, on the shirt, it looked corny. So I was like, you know what? Let me just go get some pink vinyl real My quick. bird don't look corny. No, 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 no. I'm talking about... It looked it it look look, fucking corny. Okay. <laughs> yeah, trust, All right. Trust me. I'll accept that. Trust me. Gotcha. Trust, trust me. It's been a pleasure with you Most guys definitely. too. I had yes. them questions was dope. Yeah, yeah. dope. No, nah, your fucking responses was dope. Fuck the questions. <laughs> you are dropping bars questions. in this bitch, and I'm taking all them to the bank. I'm you just letting you know. Hey, y'all heard this first. I'm you taking them to court. Skippy. He gotta cut me in. A cut. I, I'm cutting you in. No, I'm cutting you in. I'm cutting you in ten percent. I'm cutting the church 10%? in. Ten yeah, percent. I gave you. I gave you hundred yeah, percent. You won't give me ten. You see what I'm saying? The big man upstairs say only ten. So I'm giving ten. He said get bird 10, 10 times. Shit, I ain't read that one. You ain't heard that no, one? No, no. Oh, he gonna come talk to you tonight. I'll let him holler at me. <laughs> come tell him come holler at me. I'm sending him your way. <laughs> so you got any performances coming up? Uh, yes. Actually, I'm performing tomorrow at Playos. Okay. Playos. Okay. Playos. YDM presents Tia Songbird. No, nah, but... At Playos, yes, and Gary, Indiana. All right, that's the only thing close up that you got. No, coming. Friday I will be performing at the Loft pre Father's Day event. Y'all should pop out. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. I I, I ain't a father, so I'll, that's contagious. So I don't want to be around the fathers. I'm good. Ain't that I don't want no kids. That's so selfish to me, but Thank I'm gonna you. leave that where it's at. I appreciate it's you sad. noticing that. Yeah, I know it's yeah. selfish. Yeah, I don't know trust me. Um, huh? Huh? Uh, the loft is in Gary as well. I can't remember the whole address, but it's in Gary, Indiana. If you type in loft of D, it's gonna pop up. True. It's in Gary. 
Um, Playos is also in Gary as well. Yeah. And then I won't have another performance that I know of until July 31st. Okay. But it was so dope how I got on that show because I was at your event Sunday mm -hmm. and um, I was coming back in the building and I was humming. And this girl from across the lot, she heard me and she was like, hey, get the fuck out of here. Whoever that is singing, come here. Come here. Oh, so I went over there. You? Yeah, oh that my was gosh. it. And I came over there and I was singing, walking to her, but I got louder and louder. So she got my um, IG, and she watched my video, and she was like, hey, could you please sing As We Lay Live for me? Like, acapella, no yeah. nothing. And I sung it, and my eyes were closed. When I opened my eyes, everybody was around me recording. And the lady was like, yes, I need you for my show. Where the fuck was I at? You need to write a was, book, seriously, was though. Unpacking. Y'all was unpacking the stuff up. Wow. Damn. Yeah. Yo, how, ever, much, how much is it? Go ahead, go ahead. I was going to just ask, do you ever get nervous to show your talents off? Like, do you ever get nervous on stage? Yeah, sometimes I you get do. nervous. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what pushes you to, you know, find the courage to actually do it? Because uh, now I realize what I do to people. I realize that I have a gift that's mm -hmm. healing. Most of My voice is healing. Yeah. So, um... So when it's not about you and it's about others, it makes it better. Yeah. I like that. When 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 you, you're nervous when you think about yourself. Yeah. When you think about what you want to present. And what other people will think about you. Yeah, yeah. and you're you're overthinking. Exactly. But when you when you push that to the side and you're having fun with it and mm -hmm. you wanna give them something, Most definitely. like it comes just, you know. I love fucking that. Fucking natural. Yeah, yeah. I love that. All right, mm -hmm. so uh let's do this. Go ahead, let everybody know where they can reach you at on social media. Y'all can find me right now. I'm building up my um, Instagram page. Y'all can find me on IG at T-E-A underscore Songbird. Y'all can find me on Facebook at T-E apostrophe A Songbird. I'm going to start building up my Snapchat too, so get in tune. It's T-E-A uh, Songbird dot 309. Okay. All right. You motherfuckers heard it, and uh, I'm drunk. Yeah, yeah I'm drunk. But let's put that shit up there. In the but cup. yeah, before I get off here, shout out to my babies. You hear me? My babies are my biggest fans. Mm. Shout out to them babies. My babies know every song I ever wrote. I love my babies. They coming out with their music. They just got out the studio. Oh, I'm getting the yes. paperwork done. They are Very dope. Nice. They will be on bottle service. No, they won't be drinking, but I will whoa, get them whoa. some sparkling wine. Y'all yeah, was gonna say, okay. well, don't do that. No. They're they gonna have sparkling welches. wine. Yeah, like the, the white welches. grape, you yeah, know, stuff wine. like that. Yeah. They gonna do their little thing. Um, shout out to them. Shout out to my mama for having my back always, no matter what. Shout out I to my you. granny. For my oh, best yeah. friend, my yeah. best friend. Shout out to all my supporters. Shout out Chicago. We can stand. Woo! We can stand, y'all. We can stand. Max, Shout out to Bottle Service for Woo! having me today. Jesus Shout Christ. out to my radio, Chicago. Shout out to Keep It 100 Radio. That's my team right there. Follow us, y'all. Hey, download that SDR uh, network app. Support District oh. Radio Network. Tune in every day. We got a show every day, oh, all fuck. day. Every day, all day. But you can catch me on Sundays between 5 and 9 p.m. at Keep It 100 Radio on my radio, Chicago. Go download that app. Let's go. <laughs> Let's Damn. go. Let's do it. Can we put this shit it. all the way up there, man? Yes. Let's finish these cups before we get some more. Let's finish these cups. Finish the cup. Finish the goddamn cup. I got drunk it all the way down. <laughs> <laughs> I got two